Hello everybody, my name is Moulin Wood and welcome to my fly tying channel. Today's fly is the Claret Bumble. It's one of TC Kings Millmore's flies as described in his book A Man May Fish. The hook in the vise is a Camasan B175 size 10 although I do also tie these flies in 8s and 12s. The thread that I'm going to be using today is Semperfly's classic wax thread uh, in 12 naught black. The first job I've got here is to tie the front J hackle in. So I'm starting right at the eye of the hook. I'm coming back 4 millimeters and then I'm coming back another two. I'm just going to snip off this excess. And this is the J feather that I'm going to be using. Now, the problem with the J feather is the size of the rachis, the stem, if you like, and, and the length of the fibers. This is a pretty average size um, J feather, um, and you'll see. The length of the hackle is just far too great. So we need a way of reducing that and this addresses that issue. So I'm pulling out all the drops at the bottom end. And then I'm pulling out these fibres until the tips are level. And when the tips are level, I'm just pulling them off bunching them together, dampening them and laying them on my fly tying bench. Then I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to get all the tips level, rip them off, bunch them together. moisten them and lay them on my fly tying bench. Once I've done that, I need to pick those fibers up and measure them against the, the hook, hook. Now, really for a bumble, you need to be double the gape of the hook and double the gape of the hook is the length of the hook on a B175. So I've got myself a measure there. Putting them on top of the hook and I'm gradually going to ring them around the hook shank. So what I'm also doing is if they don't look like they've gone round evenly, I'm just giving them a little, little slackening the, the tying thread off and just pulling them backwards and forwards and they would gradually roll themselves around the hook chain and that's that's good enough good enough for what I need we're putting a few turns on just to hold everything in place and we're going to lift this bunch and we're going to chop them off at an angle And just tie those in and down. And we're coming right down to a point midway between the barb of the hook and the point. And we'll give it another turn and we'll be there. Now we're going to put the tail in. Now the tail for this fly is hot orange tippets and I'm only taking out about half a dozen fibres. I see an awful lot of commercially tied flies with an awful lot of fibres in and they just look awful. So 
the length of the tail wants to be the length of the body. So we want the tail to start about there. And I'm just coming to pinch and lug this in. But I'm coming in with a soft turn. I'm not doing a tight turn in there. I want those feather fibers not to splay. And if I did a tight turn, they would splay out. But I'm getting tighter as I'm coming back up the hook shank. And I can cut that off there. Just tie those waist ends down. Okay. Now, I'm going to put the wire rib in. You can, of course, use um, oval tinsel, um, but I'm using gold wire. And I get much more of a robust fly. I know a nice, decent, pronounced rib, so I'm using 0.3 of a millimeter uh, diameter, bright gold. And I'm going to tie that in. Now I'm ready for the dubbing. The dubbing that I'm going to be using is Semperfly Semper Seal in Claret. So I'm just going to dub this onto the thread. And just get a tight turn on and then I can really twist that dubbing noodle up nice tight dubbing noodle making sure that I've covered all the uh, thread turns at the back of the hook and I'm coming up covering everything Covering up to coming up to about there, maybe a millimeter away from the eye, or where the J hackle's tied in. Snipping that off. Then I'm going to tie me hackles in, and I'm going to tie these over the front. Now, a black and a claret cock hackle. And the black goes in front of the claret. Find a hackle on two full turns at the head, and then I'm coming back in three turns. Trapping those in with a gold wire. Helicopter in it off. I'm snipping the hackles.
And all we've got to do is push those angle fibers back. wind a nice neat head on all of which holds the front hackle back a whip finish and we're done Yep, happy with that one, bring them all back again. Dab of varnish. Clear the eye out. One claret bumble. Well, now that we have the flies tied and you're all happy with them, um, how would I fish it? How, what type of um, uh, weather conditions would I fish it in? Well, claret flies over cast conditions. Um, yeah, a team of three, uh, either top dropper or middle dropper uh, in a decent wave. If you've got a big wave, the bigger the fly, size eight. If you've got small wave, twelves, uh, even fourteens. If you can tie them down to fourteens, and uh, yeah, just generally throw them out on a short line and uh, pull them back in, lift, dibble them, uh, and then straight back out again. Nothing difficult about it. Just uh, yeah, steady as you go. Throw them out and pull them back.